Hey everybody, it's Jeremy, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to talk about a topic that really bothers me because nobody does their research on this. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you don't need to worry about the mercury and tuna and other fish, and why if you are worrying about it, then you're making yourself much less healthy. Okay, so mercury. You're probably asking me right now, Jeremy, why are you so worked up about mercury? Well, here's the reason. I get really annoyed when I see the popular media and mainstream nutritionists who never did their homework, never looked at the science, mislead people into taking foods and really healthy foods at that, like tuna and other seafood, out of their diets, out of their children's diet, out of their children's schools, just because they're worried about something that does not matter and in fact may be harmful, which I'll get to. So first of all, let me give credit where credit's due. I'm gonna to link to two articles in the show notes below. They're both Chris Kresser's articles. As you, many of you know, I'm a huge Chris Kresser fan. I don't normally just say what other people are saying, but a lot of this video comes from his work and his writing on this topic because he's done it so thoroughly. You should read those articles. I'll tell you a few things from those articles in this video and also a few of my own points, but you should go and read those because it'll help you understand it much better. So. Why should you not be worried about mercury? Well, here's the thing that nobody seems to understand. Mercury is not, mercury poisoning in particular, is not just like other types of poisoning, right? If you eat a certain amount of arsenic or drink a certain amount of arsenic, it's going to kill you. Mercury is not the same way. If you're getting little bits of mercury from certain places, the problem with getting mercury is that it binds to selenium and to enzymes inside your body that are made from selenium. That's what mercury poisoning actually is. Now, why is that a problem? Well, those selenium enzymes inside your body actually protect a lot of your body tissue, things like your heart, your brain, from what's called oxidative damage, that is free radicals. So, when mercury starts binding to the selenium and selenium enzymes inside your body, then those selenium enzymes can't protect your body tissue anymore which results in a lot of damage and eventually in certain, well, eventually in death, but in a lot of things along the way like heart disease and other problems. So it's the mercury binding to the selenium enzymes that is the biggest problem. Now, here's why eating mercury in fish is not a problem. Fish, except for certain sharks and certain well meat, or most well meat, has plenty of selenium. That is, it has more than enough selenium to protect you against the mercury that it may or may not have. And they've done studies on this. Read the Chris Kessler articles. They've actually tested the amounts of mercury and the amounts of selenium in a wide range of seafood, particularly in North America, but pretty much around the world. And you're getting plenty of selenium to protect you against any mercury that you're getting in that fish unless you're eating well meat. So, no reason whatsoever to worry about the mercury. Now here's point number two. And this is the bigger issue, and it's very related, but that is, if you're worried about the mercury in your fish and in your tuna, you're probably making yourself much less healthy. Why? Because if you actually look at the science and the statistics, you're much more likely to not be healthy and to potentially die from being unhealthy if you're not eating fish than if you are, even with the mercury in it. So even if you don't believe what I said at first, that it doesn't matter how much mercury you're getting as long as you're getting enough selenium, if you're not eating fish, you're causing yourself a whole host of other problems. Fish is very high in good fats. It's very high in a lot of vitamins and minerals, things like A, D, some B vitamins, also iodine, zinc, potassium. It is incredibly good for you and one of the most nutrient-dense foods that you can eat. So you're probably doing yourself a lot more harm than good if you're really worried about this mercury issue. All right, so that's it for today. I won't bore you anymore with my rants on this topic, but mercury, not something you should be worried about in your fish. Please eat enough fish, eat enough seafood. It's incredibly good for you, incredibly delicious. And let me hear what you think. Are you still worried about mercury? Show me some of the actual articles that address the slumming issue. I would love to see them because I don't feel like hardly anybody addresses the real issue with mercury poisoning. Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you have any thoughts about it. And also right here, there's a click subscribe button. We hope that you'll click to subscribe. You can get notified about all our new videos, all our new tips, all our new articles, and everything else paleo.